Hello people, it's Lee from Yorvik Outdoors. Hope you've had a, a good a good week and uh, here we are into the weekend. Just gonna move you around a little bit. So um I'm replying to a video uh, your five favourite items that you take out of here when you go outdoors. Um I'd like to thank Handy Outdoors for nominating me. Appreciate it. Just sub to his channel. I'll put a link to his channel below, so if you uh, if you want to go sub to him, that'd be good. Um, and I'll uh, I'll do my people that I'm gonna sub at the end of this. But my first item is um, as quite a few people have done boots. As you can see, the magnums, yeah, um, they are. Magnum Panther 0 .80, 8.0 sorry Magnum Panthers I've I could actually review these I've worn not just this pair I've worn many pairs like it um, out and about in you know in the woods outdoors doing a bit of walking at motocross tracks on my motorbike I took these um, was it these boots Went round Europe with me in 2006, rode all the way around Europe on my bike with them. So, waterproof, they are something that comes with me every time I go away. So, number one, boots. And so, my next uh, bit of kit, number two. It's sort of two things lumped together, and uh, but um, what I've got here is I've got a Chianji little cook uh, cook stove there, and I've got I've got both, but I do usually use the gas conversion kit so I'm not going to set it up right now because it's freezing it's wet and things are flying all over but that that makes into a triangle that goes in the middle of the triangle you put that through there and that sits in there obviously uh, it's not sitting together but that sits like that in in that which is uh, which is like a triangle change your triangle is exactly what it's called actually uh, got a little gas bottle which is in my van I won't show you that um, gas bottles are gas bottles but uh, so that's that's what I cook on really lightweight nothing in that I haven't got any scales couldn't tell you what it is but that's that's one thing that I use for cooking, and I couldn't go without. This is all part of the same one. It's part of my cook set. I've got a little penny stove there, which you've seen in my video the other week, and my cup's not in here. It's in the house, getting uh, getting cleaned. But it's an old army. B, is it BCP set? Um, perfect, really. The good good man Remy has uses it, so good enough for him, good enough for me. The cup just goes on the top there. Uh, like I say, I have took it home just to uh, give it a wash out. Can uh, put an alcohol pad in the bottom of there and use an alcohol pad, or um, you can. Uh, oops. Or you can. One second. Dropping everything. Shouldn't do it outside really. Sorry about that. It's a bit windy outside. I'm actually sat just outside my camper doing it. So, um, yeah, like I say, you can put an alcohol pad in that, which is basically what it's designed for. Quick shot of my spark there. Let's all pop down there. Or, what I did the other week, as you've seen in my video, is I can pop my penny stove in there, put a bit of methicin and cook on that. So, 
that pouch contains all my water bottle and that. Realistically, it'd be nice if I could get that other stuff in. Um, I might have a go. I might buy a slightly bigger pouch for it all. But uh, that's my number two, my cup kit. It's brilliant. Love it. Right then, so number one was the boots, number two is my cup kit, and one to number three. And I've got to say, it's my uh, fire lighting kit. Great little uh, pouch here, which uh, I think I've showed off in the last two or three videos, so you're probably sick of uh, me telling you. Got my fire steel on the back here, look. So we'll just take that off there. Fire rod. Mr. Scooty fire rod. And a beaver bushcraft striker, which can be used for power rod striking, and you can hold it like that and use it on a flint, so that's ideal. Bit of fat wood, Steve Frog Moon kindly gave me the other week when we we're out and about, which he'd. Uh, We've got inside another bit of fat wood, a little striker. I'm going to get this out actually because it's another thing that Steve gifted me. And what it is, is it's you just use that for shavings on your fat wood, which I'm not going to do too much. And then you get your shavings off. And you can start a fire. So, another little present from Steve Fogmoon when we're down at Camp Stupid. Um, I'll just put that there for now. And inside here, I think I showed you on the last video, I forget what name of that is, Kakupa or something. Some Amadou, which is like a mushroom, and just a few matches in there. And to be honest, um, I have got, and it is separate to this, uh, but. I, um, I've just, for like absolute emergencies, I've got um, cock wool um, doused in Vaseline, but I would only really use that in an emergency, and I haven't got any way of really carrying it on here. So, so yeah, that goes through there. Just about sorted with my fire lighting stuff. Shrap that around there, put it through there, and then that's hanging safely on there. Number three, fire lighting kit. So we've got, we can make a fire and we can make a brew. And we've got nice warm feet and dry feet. Right, um, the other two items um, are back at my home. So I want to do them when I get back. In a few minutes time but I have got an honorary mention and the honorary mention is a Nomad Spoon um, which Paul kindly donated to me it's been used um, I ate my stew with it down at Camp Stupid and it works a treat so yeah um, that may feature again if we ever do it um, this again I haven't had it long enough to really get a lot of use out of it, but it certainly gets an honorary mention. A, poor, a prep nomad spoon. Right, people. So, we're on to number two. I'm back in there uh, in my van now. Back home. Um, but this is number two in my favourite items to wear out. It is, as it says here, Ridge line monsoon, I think it is. is it a monsoon, I don't know. 100% windproof, and it's waterproof up to I think 5000 hydrostatic head, so it's very waterproof. It's got a nice uh, opening here, I'm doing it one handed, so excuse the camera wobbling. So, in summertime, if you're wearing it, you can open it up and get a bit of fresh air in. Which uh, which is ideal. Just gonna zip that back up. There we go. 
nice hood on it with the storm uh, flap on the front which are becoming quite popular on uh, anything outdoorsy at the minute pocket there for carrying stuff pocket there maybe it's collecting tin do you want to stick some in your pocket if you're out and about or anything really uh, pocket here on this side nice deep pocket pocket here exactly the same as, as that one try and move the camera a bit slower and this here You just uh, what the, what this is for is when you're sitting down. It just gives you a bit extra because obviously it's like uh, what do you call them, man? Um, what they're called? Just hang on. Schmock. That's what it's called. Goes out your head when you need it, and then comes back in when you don't. So it's a schmock. So it's quite long. It's designed to be worn like past that's your waistline so it's designed to be worn past your waistline really uh, and because of that they put that in so that it's uh, easy to sit down pretty plain on the back really now to show off all i can say is if you can see there it's a really funny textured um i'll tell you what it feels like if you've ever had one of them cloths for um for drying uh, cars and that off, that's exactly what it feels like, sort of rough to the touch, but uh, it's certainly uh, an excellent bit of kit, and uh, that is uh, number two in my list of favourite things. Right, the PS2 resistance kept till last. This is the sheath for a knife that. Uh, I read a, a hell of a lot of uh, reviews on. Um, I'm just going to leave that there because it's playing with the camera lens. And that is a sheath for an SE6. Um, an absolute beast of a knife. It's, as you can see, it's, uh, it doesn't just sit on the shelf, it's been out and about. Probably don't give it its. Uh, it looks cleaner on the camera than it actually is. Uh, I'll get you look how thick that is, nice and thick. It's linen micarta handle, made by Rowan, made in the USA. Linen micarta. The funny thing about that is, um, it actually it's quite grippy. It, it gets more grippy the more wet it is. It's really weird stuff. Um, but you've got some jumping up here, finger choil there, so you can actually uh, really get down the knife, you know, give it get a bit of control out of it. It's got to land a little bit on there, look, which I put on most of my stuff. Right, I'm going to rest that down now because I'm probably doing your head and waving it about. Yeah, that's going to be number one. That's just an absolute beast. Um, at this minute, it's my favourite knife. Um, just purely because of what it does, it does everything. Um, I am a fan of SE, I've got a little SE Izula 2 uh, neck knife. But yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much about it. There's any amount of reviews on them on uh, YouTube. But that is um, my five. In fact, hang on a minute, I'll take you out. Right, so, sorry about that, that's my five um, favourite items at this moment in time uh, to take out with me in the field. Um, what I haven't done right now, I'm going to have to think of them off the top of my head. I want to thank Handy Outdoors for uh, nominating me, appreciate it. That was a bit of fun to dig through your gear. Um, so, who am I going to tag? got to tag five people. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a hard one picking five people to uh, to tag because uh, there's a lot of you out there who I'd like to um, you, to see your, your setups, but um, I am I have I've got to pick five, so here's my five, and, and I know you all uh, watch my videos uh, religiously, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, and my first nominee is Johnny Outdoors. 
So let's uh, see your kit, Johnny. Um, that'd be good to see, mate. The second one is um, Borderline Wild Camping Theo. Um, let's show us what your five favourite items are, Theo. Um, I also tag Kev at Woodland Camping Craft. Um, see what your favourite things are, Kev. Um, also, Paul at Prep Nomad. Um, let's tag him as well. And uh, last but not least, um, Albion Camping Owen. Let's uh, see your five favourite things. So, um, again, thanks, Handy Outdoors, for tagging me. I will um, put a link to your channel below and the five channels that I've tagged. And uh, thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed.